Hey there, hi there, ho there, how you doing there? Uh, so it is Friday, which means normally it would be time for the week that was. However, comma, I, I didn't get anything finished this week. And with everything that's been going on, I didn't do the monthly wrap up for June. So we're just going to do that instead. Uh, what have, what did I read in June? I, I only managed to knock out four books, which as you know, is pretty low for me. Uh, but there were two four stars and two five stars, so I, I can't complain. I mean, I could complain, but yeah, who wants to hear that? Uh, four stars, I read The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins and Five Broken Blades by Mike Corland. Those are my four stars. Liked them both, uh, but they didn't quite match up with Wilding Hall by Elizabeth Hand. And Brain Dump, Brain Dump, Brain Dump. Incidents Around the House by Josh Mallerman. Both of those are five stars. Loved them both. And as I told everybody before, if you're gonna if you're gonna listen, if you're gonna read Incidents Around the House, you want to listen to Incidents Around the House. Uh, audiobook was phenomenal. So yeah, that was it. The month that was was pretty low on that end for for reading purposes. Uh, as for videos, though, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. We had an interview with Jen Lyons. She's got a book that I no longer have over my shoulder. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I moved it. We're packing up to move. What can I say? Uh, but The Sky on Fire was absolutely phenomenal. We got to talk about that. And then shortly after that, I had a buddy read with author Paul Jessup, which is where we discussed Wilding Hall and The Wicker Man, and a bunch of other stuff. We talked for like two and a half hours. You can go watch it. But anyhow, that was the big stuff for June. Um, yeah, don't think anything else too exciting happened. I, I got two Illumicrates in at once, and I still haven't posted the videos. But uh, yeah, they were, Illumicrate was running a little behind. In fact, I'm not sure which one was June's and which one was May's at this point, to be honest with you. But they both dropped in. Um, yeah, and I will I will try to get those videos up at some point. I apologize. Y'all know I'm in the middle of moving. However, it, that is starting to pull in the drive a little bit. By this time next month, let's see, it's the 5th, where I think we're moving on the 3rd. So we will be in the new digs in time for uh, next month. Now, obviously, if I do, if I do the monthly wrap-up when I normally do it, which is on the last day of the month, we might still be here, but I may also already have my stuff set up over there just so that'll be one less thing to move. So we'll, we'll see where I'm at. Come back next month. See, see if this is still the background. <laughs> All right. Uh, what am I currently reading? And what am I going to be reading for the next month? Uh, ebook. I am currently reading When We Were Birds. I promised Net Galley. Well, not personally, but I've said it out loud on the, on the podcast. So. Promised them I would get that done so I could finally do a book review on that one. Uh, I got way behind on my NetGalley stuff, and I feel like if you accept the arc from them, you really should put out the review. So knocking that out. When I get done with that, I'm going to get back to Paul Joseph's Glass House, which I put on hold for a bunch of other stuff. And then I actually don't know what I'm going to read ebook wise after that. I'll find some. Probably another arc. I might hit another net galley arc. We'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, I owe them a few. I'm a little behind. Uh, physical books. I'm currently reading a good, a good family, a good family. I put the book away because we're because we're packed. A H Kim. Maybe it's just good family. Maybe I'm trying to make this harder than it needs to be. Uh, Going to finish that one up. Then I am. Depending on how quickly I get that done, I'm either going to read. Bum, 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 Long Live Evil by Sarah Reese Brennan, since this book drops in August, and we're going to have an interview with her, so i got to get that done. But if I get Good Family done too soon, because I don't want to have time to forget everything I read, um, then I'll probably knock out Fathom Folk. That might be my next physical book. And audiobooks, I am finishing up... Uh, yeah. I, I was second-guessing Elizabeth. It is Elizabeth. Elizabeth Bear. I'm having a morning. Can you tell? So we're going to finish up Elizabeth Bear's Hammered. It was her debut album or debut album, debut book way back in the day. 
Y'all kept me up all night with fireworks. It's not my fault. I'm tired. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, yes, I'm going to finish that one up. Then I'm probably going to hit, and I just brain dumped. I want to say full moon. Is that right? No. I think that's right. Book two. I think it's full moon. Book two uh, and the Dresden Files. That'll be my audiobook after that. And then... I don't know what my next audiobook is going to be. I'm sure it'll be an arc of something or other. I still say arc. I know it's an advanced listening company, but elk just doesn't have quite the same ring to it. What can I say? I think that's it. Um, yeah. Pretty much everything I got going on. Like I said, I got to quit keep. I got to quit saying like I said. I'm not even going to edit that out. Anyhow, got nothing new and exciting going on. Probably we're pulling in the drive here. Going to get a little bit more reading done, hopefully next month. And the monthly wrap up might be a little bit longer. As of right now, because originally we were doing the Sarah Reese Burnin interview for July, but her book got pushed back to August. I, did, I don't have anybody else slotted to fit in there maybe something will come up but i don't have an author interview for this month at the moment i'll get back to you if that changes you know check out the website you know all my stuff's out there i've always got whatever's coming up speaking of which the sarah reese burning one the book drops the 27th of august we're doing the interview on the 24th but i don't have a time yet we're gonna have to figure that out uh we're doing it on a saturday because she is on irish time that was horrible. Don't let me do that again. And I am obviously on uh, middle of America time. So little, little bit of a difference in sleeping schedules there. Well, supposedly, Sarah, if you're watching this, I've seen when you post, you are up so late. <laughs> Get some sleep. All right. I will catch you guys later. Uh, I, I hope you guys have a bunch of four and five star reads as well. And... Yeah, I didn't have anything planned after Ann. Take care.